Parliament House, New Delhi, 19th of August, 1985, the 35th year of our Republic. 14 founding fathers of the Indian Constitution called on the Speaker of the Lok Sabha, Mr. Balram Jhaka. The past 35 years have been the years of trial and tribulation. The Constitution framed by them has stood the test of time and become the bedrock of India's progress and unity. It is the embodiment of the hopes and aspirations of the people as a whole because it was the fulfillment of the people's striving for independence. The adoption of the Constitution of India was the culmination of a 90-year-long struggle for independence. For several years, the Congress had been demanding the right of the Indian people to frame their own constitution. In 1928, a committee was set up under the chairmanship of Motilal Nehru to lay down the principles of a constitution for India. The constitution recommended by the Nehru committee envisaged a federal system of government with residuary powers vested in the center and joint mixed voters for the Houses of Representatives and the Provincial Legislature. The 1929 Lahore Congress demanded Purna Swaraj, complete independence. In 1934, the Congress reiterated its demand for a constituent assembly to be elected on adult franchise for shaping the destiny of the Indian people. After the end of the Second World War, a cabinet mission was sent to negotiate the transfer of power to India. The 16th of May, 1946 statement of the cabinet mission announced framing of a future constitution for India by Indians themselves. Elections were held in July 1946, with Congress winning 199 seats. The Constituent Assembly met at Delhi on the 9th of December 1946. It was an impressive assembly of 207 eminent leaders and brilliant legal minds of the era. The Muslim League and a majority of the princely states abstained. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was elected as the permanent chairman. Welcoming the election, Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan said, He is the suffering servant of India, of the Congress, and incarnates the spirit for which this country stands. Bulbule Hind, the nightingale of India, to address us. Not in prose, but in poetry. Mr. Chairman, the manner of your uh, calling me is not constitutional. It is poetic. <laughs> it reminds me of Does some it? line of a Kashmiri poet who said, Bul bul ko gul mubarak. Gul ko chaman mubarak. Rangin tabiyat onko range sukhan mubarak. Bar. And today, we are steeped in the rainbow-colored tints of speech and speeches in praise of my great leader and comrade, Rajendra Prasad. Dr. Rajendra Prasad expressed the hope that the constitution framed by the assembly will be a model for all to follow. All that we need, all that we require is Honesty of purpose, firmness of determination, a desire to understand each other's viewpoint, a resolve that we shall do justice. On the 13th of December, 1946, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru moved the objective's resolution. President, sir, I beg to move. 
this constituent assembly declares its firm and solemn resolve to proclaim India as an independent sovereign republic and to draw up for her future governance a constitution wherein all power and authority of the sovereign independent India, its constituent parts and organs of government are derived from the people. Many eminent leaders participated in the debate. मेरे भाई पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू ने रखा है मैं उसका समर्थन करता डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी इट इज ए सॉलेम एंड सेक्रेट ट्रस्ट व्हिच वी इंडियंस हैव एग्रीड टू परफॉर्म टू द बेस्ट ऑफ आवर एबिलिटी डॉक्टर अंबेडकर आवर डिफिकल्टी इज हाउ टू मेक द हेटरोजेनियस मेस दैट वी हैव टुडे Take a decision in common and march in a cooperative way on that road, which is bound to lead us to unity. On the 22nd of January, 1947, the objectives resolution was approved. The Constituent Assembly elected members of the advisory committee and formed 13 committees and subcommittees. to look after the various aspects of constitution making on the 2nd of june 1947 the partition of india was accepted by the congress and the muslim league deliberation of the constituent assembly continued on the basis of the objectives resolution Many designs were received for the flag of independent India. On the 22nd of July, 1947, Jawaharlal Nehru moved a resolution on the national flag. Now, that the national flag of India shall be a horizontal tricolor of wheat, saffron, kesari, white, and dark green in equal proportions. In the center of the white band, there shall be a wheel in navy blue to represent the Sharpa. On the 29th of August, 1947, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was its chairman, and Aladi Krishna Swami Iyer, Gopala Swami Iyengar, K. M. Munshi, Syed Muhammad Sadullah, Sir B. L. Mitter, and D. P. Khatam were the other members. 